Hey, what is up, you Rainbow Royalty? I'm Ace Explains, and welcome back to another video. And today, we're gonna be talking about some transgender, intersex, bi gender examples in animals. And I thought this would be a pretty interesting video to do, since a lot of times people just think, oh, it's unnatural, and it's only in humans, where it's actually all throughout the animal kingdom. So, we're gonna be starting with the kabudai. This particular fish goes from a female to a male. So what happens is when a female fish grows into a large enough body size, what they can actually do is stop the production of certain enzymes and then male hormones start to circulate throughout their bodies. And over a few months, they actually turn from a female to a male. And as this goes on, their head like starts to expand and their chin gets longer and they even have like a change in like their behavior, which is really interesting. So another fish example is a clownfish. And this one is really interesting to me. So basically all clownfish, they are born as males and in like a clownfish like a school of clownfish, you have like the female and like the dominant male and they're the ones that make the clownfish children. And what happens is if the female dies, the dominant male actually turns into the female of the colony. And so when this happens, the former male increases in size to be the female and then a fish in the colony actually becomes the dominant male. So it's kind of just like a cycle within the school of fish. And it seems like we're doing a lot of sea creatures, so the next one is a sea snail. And specifically for like a sea snail such as the slipper limpet, what they do is they are born male, much like clownfish, and if a male actually becomes in contact with another male, they will change from male to female. It's helping to help the snails survive. And sea snails can even change not only from male to female, but also from female to male. So for green sea turtles and bearded dragons, they can technically change their sex while in the egg. So when the dragon or the turtle lay their eggs, if the temperature increases to a high temperature, for example, for bearded dragons over 31 degrees Celsius, it actually causes the gender to switch to female in the egg. And specifically for the bearded dragons, though they do switch to female, they're actually genetically male even though their actions seem to play in a similar way that a female bearded dragon would. And they can reproduce and lay eggs. So a bunch of different types of birds, reptiles, and sea creatures can actually be bi-gender, where they're literally like split in half, in a way. So for example, a cardinal can be born bi-gender, where you have one half of its body that's red, which is typical of a male, and half gray, which is typical of a female. And this can be in a lot of different animal species where they're literally like split in half with both the sexes. And ending it off with the spotted hyena. So this one is really interesting because both the male and the female spotted hyena have the male sex organs. The females actually do use those with their regular female sex organs, which is really interesting. But those are all the examples I have for you today. I thought this was really interesting, and it kind of just shows that being transgender or bi-gender, intersex, whatever, is not unnatural. It is throughout the animal kingdom, and shows that your gender is not defined by your biology. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any suggestions or questions, and I'll see you guys in the next one.